Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay! So, <laughs> this is just a little bit excessive, I think. Uh, yeah, so, this isn't going to be a normal launch for me. I ended up changing our whole rocket design. Only just for this launch, and if I ever need to change it again, I will be kind of, you know, switching back to this one here and there. I still have some kinks to work on. It does not take off exactly the way I want it. You can see this stage goes out first, shortly afterwards, and I'll ramp that up. There we go. Perfect. So I usually have to take off with the engines basically completely off on here, otherwise it will suck out these tanks even faster than what I want. But, yeah, it, this design, it works fairly well. It, it's pretty good. I, I, I'm, you know, I still got to work on it just a little bit more to make sure the solids burn out first, and then this tank, which we pretty much ejected instantly, needs to... Uh, basically get jettisoned afterwards and hope that it has a little bit of fuel left. I think if anything I just gotta add a little bit more fuel. So I've added a few mods basically in between now and our last episode. One of them being a joint reinforcement mod and I can't really tell you the name specifically. I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's like Kerbal Joint Reinforcement, something along the lines of that. I can't really give you the honest name for it because I don't know it to be... Yeah, yeah, just... Yeah, just go and check it out. It is actually a pretty cool mod. What it does, basically, I mean, you can tweak it yourself, but I haven't really done anything as far as tweaking is concerned. But it basically reinforces your joints on your spacecraft, on basically your launch more so, and it re... It, a lot of people have this same problem. And one thing I'm going to mention too, I should mention this before, I uh, if you have any mods that you want me to try, or you, you know of any mods, please feel free to let me know. Some of them I will add, some of them I kind of put under review for a minute or two, and, uh, wow, that rhymed, and, uh... Definitely, I'll look at possibly adding them for the near future. I can't really give you an honest answer on when or if I add them. And I really probably won't have any recollection or anything during a video to actually mention that I will or will not be adding specific mods. One of them I will definitely say right now is MechJab. No, never. Not once. And... Uh, but yeah, that, that's about it. So anyways, back to the joint reinforcement. What it does is, uh, one of the major things that I have a complaint about that ever since I started basically playing this game, that has been the absolute most annoying thing is on the launch pad when you're like about to launch your rocket and your booster falls off or this falls off or that falls off and it's like half the time it works half the time it doesn't and it basically I almost guarantee you it's like the game is just laughing at you and trying to make you angry with just random failures and stuff even though nine out of ten times it's actually worked or what have you it, it's it, it fixes that put it it, it completely gets rid of it as far as I know. I have built this rocket here just kind of a, as a test, but not really as a 100% test. I, the one thing I will say is I haven't tested this on every design, but as far as I know, this rocket design that I built, it worked off camera every single time. No failures whatsoever. Not one. Not a single failure whatsoever. Then, all of a sudden, as soon as I go to record, it's like, hey, um, I hope you don't mind that, like, half this rocket is just gonna, like, chill on the pad, or just be angry and not do what you want it to do, and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy, like, frustration for, like, 45 minutes until you can go and get a mod to fix it. So, yeah, I, I really didn't... I really don't like certain mods that kind of really tweak with some of the game settings, but this is something that will be added to the game very shortly, so I don't really think it's that bad of a thing to actually have. 
to be honest. I, it's, it's one of those kind of gray areas with certain mods that I'm kind of okay with using, but then certain circumstances or whatever, it, 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 it all makes sense. That, that's all I'm going to say. So it looks like we're about to run out of fuel here. I'm just trying to circularize the orbit the best way I can, and this takeoff has actually been a lot better than some of my older takeoffs, and we have about a fart worth of fuel left, so I might as well get rid of this fart worth here. Yeah, see, there we go. Just farted. Now let's get rid of... Is this staged right here? And, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I think this mod will be pretty good for people to be tied over until the update actually comes out. I, once again, I can't really state whether or not uh, this is, you know, the best mod and it will remove all of these problems, but um, as far as I can tell, it really did help out, at least with this launch and this rocket. Half the time when I took off, it was really wobbly and crazy, and it would fall apart almost completely. Half the time, other times it didn't. Uh, pretty much off camera, it was perfectly fine. As soon as I tried to record it is when it started freaking out. So the other mod I have added was the circular tank mod, or not circular, um, not circular tank mod, it's... Uh, Spherical tank mod. Yeah, there we go. Circle mod, tank mod. What am I kidding? We'll set this as a target. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just had a brain fart there. Uh, let's see. We have to try to get our best approach without using like an absolute boatload of fuel. So I, I'm really trying to get the best approach, but I, I think we're going to probably have to do a few orbits around... Once I start doing these burns, I'm going to speed everything up because this thing doesn't exactly move very fast because it only has one engine. I will start covering a little bit on what this uh, thing is on our first burn here, and then once we... I, I'll get back to you guys once we are getting close to starting to dock. So, let's just see here. We got... A one minute and 54 second burn. I'll start at like eh, one minute 10 seconds or something. One minute 15. Really doesn't have to be that accurate. I'm just looking to knock about half of the... Get this about halfway out so then we'll just do two orbits and we'll be able to meet up with the craft hopefully. At least it will be close enough to where it's in the ballpark. So let's uh, let's take a good look at what we got going on here. How does that look for our mega ship? I really think that looks freaking awesome. I don't know about you guys, but that looks freaking amazing. What this is, is basically a habitat slash docking bay. And I will inflate these here. And this will be where our most of our crew lives and works while in you know, whatever, in transit to another planet or wherever we decide to go. And the only problem I have with this out of everything is the windows are basically right next to each other so they can just sit there and stare at each other through a window. It, it, that was the only thing I kind of had to draw back on. But, dear God, guys, two full-size docking bays on here with everything. I, there's docking that for small and for the regular medium size and the only thing I didn't do is put like a massive one in there for the uh, large size now I am getting a little bit of lag with this and it doesn't really have to do with the fact that it's this module but uh, what's going on here oh there we go I don't know I just lost SAS control that was kinda weird I was trying to move and nothing happened no, basically, uh, we'll have all the connections we can need. I, I really tried to put this together the best way possible, but, you know, th there's only so many ways you can... Uh, certain things you can see on here, it, it, cosmetically, on the inside, is where it kind of looks a little rough, but on the inside, oh my god, you can see the lag is 
It's from the planet mostly, it's not even from this part. Now, I do have to mention that this is only roughly about 40 or 50 parts, this one module. And I used the welding mod, and I will be uploading or something the version of the welding mod that I'm using that's actually functional. So for those of you who need it or want it, you can download it. Somebody was asking about it. I can't remember who. I'm sorry if I forgot your name and all that good stuff, but... You are basically asking me about the welding mod and how you could not find it and it co you couldn't get it working. The version, I, I remember I had to search through the forums, it was like on roughly page 50 or 51 on the welding mod is kind of where somebody made like a very quick fix for it. And I don't know, it, I've checked, still it has not been updated since .22 so it's not functional anymore. So, it, at least that version, the one that it was released by the actual person who made the mod, is not functional on, at all. So, we either gotta wait until somebody actually remakes it again, or makes someone, makes a better one, or something like that. But, the one thing I will say is, with the welding mod, uh, certain parts don't really work with the welding mod. Some uh, being, uh, basically... Hold on, I'm just gonna I gotta check this here. Let's see, how much of a burn were we gonna have to do now? Okay, that's not bad. No, I, I figured I was gonna leave off with this whole um burn and everything getting there, but I figure I might as well explain a little bit with the welding mod. Well, the one thing you can't really do with it is uh basically you can't uh Wow, I'm just completely at a loss. You can't put docking ports on it. You can't put certain parts on it. Because when you really think about it, if you're welding like nine docking ports on a... Say you're welding something like this right here. And you're trying to make it all one part. Um, you're basically combining all the docking ports into one giant docking port. It... it in a way, but it doesn't work that way. You're kind of more combining it into making it one docking port. And I really wouldn't know where the center would be or which ones would work or which ones wouldn't work because some of them wouldn't even work at all while other one, uh, one of them will work. And the whole module itself will become a docking port. And I, I really don't know. It's really hard to explain. But basically, that's kind of what it comes down to. So... The, the best I can say is that you got to learn with certain parts that you just can't do it and you have to kind of bite the bullet. So while you might be able to create a craft that will, I mean, if you were to be technical about it on how many parts, it could have 3,000 parts on it. Uh, you still have to put on docking ports and stuff like that. Engines don't combine. You can't uh, well, like three engines together, it doesn't work that way. Let's see, All right, I think we kind of passed our node. There we go. We were getting a little bit of lag out of my keyboard. I don't know if it's my keyboard or if it's the game. But, yeah, we basically got this little guy right here. This is, this is the whole thing pushing this huge thing around. But, uh, it, the, the welding mod itself is fairly decent. But I do have to say, there are drawbacks to using it with certain things. And a lot of stuff, uh, the, the parts themselves won't align after you weld them. Some of them. Uh, this piece is a perfect example. I ended up welding this whole piece on an angle. And uh, when I went to go put these two HAB modules on here, or the four of them I should say, uh, because it was on an angle when I welded it, when I tried to put these on here, they would only attach at an angle. They were kind of out to the right here a little bit. It didn't look right at all. It, it was really bugged out. It just... The, the aesthetics were completely gone. Let's see. This thing is freaking out right now. I hate it when it does this. Alright, I think that's good. So let's see, uh, yeah, so these were kind of at an angle, it really just didn't work out so well. And I ended up having to kind of redo the part a little bit here and there, and move stuff around. But overall, it didn't, the overall design didn't change basically at all. 
Uh, basically, all I did was rotate it in the VAB, bring it like so it's basically straightforward, rewelded it, and it was perfectly fine. The other thing I will say too, at least with this version of the mod that I'm using, when you go to weld something that's like this, where it is probably somewhere in the ballpark of like two or three hundred parts, it takes a while for it to actually create the part. It's not something that's instantaneous. You're not going to create the part and it's going to end up appearing in your uh, your item list instantly. Um, I mean, it will appear as soon as it's done loaded, but it will basically lock your game up for maybe 30 seconds or 45 seconds and then your part will be created. But the only other part is that, that sucks as well is that every part you create, say if you create something like this, um, best way to do it I can give you is create the part um, stat, you know as far as like whatever it is you're trying to build put it in the VAB make sure you know it's built save it and then try to create the part because if you don't save it first it will actually just it, it's how it works is it will delete the part out of your out of the VAB and then it will appear in your item list but the problem is, is that say there's a problem with it, and it didn't go work correctly. You have to rebuild the entire part from scratch in order to get the same thing that you were trying to get before. And something like this isn't really kind of a part that you want to just sit there and rebuild over and over and over again. So I mean, it probably took me about, I would say, a 45 minutes or maybe an hour, hour and a half to build this entire thing. To make sure it looks this way and everything just kind of falls together real nicely, it took me some uh, some time. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you once we're starting to get a lot closer to docking. And we're back guys so this is gonna be a little intense I, I'm fairly confident I'll be able to dock this I'm just gonna slow down a little bit more that slowing down process took a long long time uh, that was like six set like at least five six minutes worth of burning uh, just the engine, you know, this is a very small engine for such a very large craft, so it is understandable that it's going to take some time. I just didn't really expect it. It wasn't very well thought out, put it that way, and I keep on having to look away from, uh, what just happened? That was very strange. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this thing actually jumped and moved a little bit. I don't know what changed, but something changed very slightly so I don't know but yeah so I should have probably equipped this with maybe just a little bit bigger of an engine maybe the poodle engine I don't know the poodle engine I'm I'm kind of just really not really using anymore I used to use it a lot more when I first started playing but then I realized how inefficient that engine was, so I kind of just stopped using it for a lot of stuff. 
Mind you, it is a very good engine for doing a lot of things, especially going to the moon and I would say min miss as well, but if you're talking about leaving the Kerbin system, it's really, really not worth it. I think min miss is right there too. It looks like it's blocking one of the stars or something like that. It looks really weird. So I think I'm going to let this just kind of pass by as it is right now because we really don't have to change anything right now. I just kind of bleed off the speed as soon as we uh, get a little bit closer. Plus I wanted some light on the subject. For some reason I'm always docking on the dark side which is never really that fun. Uh, fun fact, I am scared of the dark so it just really doesn't work out that well for me. So let's see there we go just the one thing I gotta say too with these nuclear engines is it's so easy to bleed off speed it's you can you have such gr just amazing control you don't like when you're trying to dock or do anything you can just bleed off the speed almost perfectly every single time so with docking this stuff how am I you might be asking how am I gonna do uh, seven docking ports at once so the one thing I will say is you want to control from your center this is basically why I always have a center to my ship you want to control from your center and then align with this you know obviously uh, set this center as your target so then all you have to do is ever so nicely turn and try to not get any lag from Kerbin because that is just going to destroy you. Let's see. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure that this ship is all properly lined up and everything. It looks like everything's good. Now, I do have some ideas. The one thing I'm going to probably add later, and this is going to be once we really get the ship 100% completed and I start bringing in some of the drop ships and stuff like that, We'll be adding stuff like little satellites and stuff that, you know, can be returned back to the craft and all kinds of other just little things that I figure would be really awesome to have. Now what I'm going to do too, and this is going to help me out, you want to have control over both of your craft basically. And this will, once again, help you out a lot later once you start getting close with your docking. Especially stuff like this, you want it to be almost perfect when you go to dock. I mean, you can reset the docking ports and all that stuff, but it's I usually try to do it perfect every single time. So, it, it does happen to not always be perfect, but it, I always try my best. That, that, I'll put it that way. So, we'll control from here. This is set as a target. We should go forth and accept our fate see what happens and kind of bump this over I don't know why but the docking ports themselves or I mean the the RCS control whenever you go forward it kind of puts it off to the right or off to the left or just some kind of direction we do have very good RCS control as you guys can see we have basically two RCS blocks on each except for right here I thought I removed these on the top here, but apparently not. Oh, apparently I, I only removed the ones off the bottom, I think. Yeah, I did. Eh, that's not that bad. I don't really care that much. No point in doing a relaunch just because of docking ports. Maybe I can get, like, Jeb or something to, like, just fly into them really fast and knock them off. That, that would be awesome. I think Jeb would definitely take up a job like that. So this is looking really good, really nice. I, I don't really see any problems. You, you always have to basically be prepared for the problem to arise once you get about, I don't know, maybe five meters away or so. That's when, you know, things start getting really funky, especially with docking and, you know, every little movement makes a big difference. But a lot, aligning these seven is pretty hard. I've never actually docked seven before, so yeah, this is a little 
bit funky and I usually slow it down a lot once the docking ports themselves start getting that pull and you guys will notice once it gets that pull it will just pull them right in and it looks like we're a little high but I'm not that concerned as long as everything lines up ever so nicely I think yeah there's the pull everything just needs to just come together so perfectly and hopefully it did now let's check these guys um that one doesn't look like it yeah did not make a connection there and this one did not make a connection it's beautiful and this one's good if this one's good that means all the rest of them on this side are usually okay so it looks like we got a connection on that side but not on the other one so we're probably we got to reset this it is possible to make a perfect connection on the first time I have done it before it's just um, you know usually it takes about one or two docks usually the second dock you know it's always like second time or third times the charm as they say it definitely takes you know a good amount of times but my god guys this is already looking amazing and it, it's a little bit too big for its own good but you know what it looks freaking awesome so I'm, I'm I don't even care let's just bring this over and just line up everything so nice and perfectly there we go so we're gonna undock it one more time and redock and see if we can get a connection if not I will do it off camera just to kind of prove to you guys to let you know that it does work it is possible to dock seven docking ports together it wow this thing this is the other thing that it will do too is it kind of does this little bit of a jumpy game uh, basically after you undocking them different docking ports are reconnecting or connecting to each other so you're basically having to just undock constantly and then it just keeps reconnecting but once you get all of them set to undock that's when it you know it, it will leave you alone and stop bothering you about the whole hey I'm not docked or docked thing I tried to line these up too and it's, it's so many things that you try to do and it just doesn't work out absolutely perfectly there we go perfect so we'll just kick on the RCS just back up a little bit that's all we gotta do basically just back away ever so nicely hopefully nothing has moved otherwise we're gonna have some problems and a I think something has moved I think they are moving away from each other a little bit off at an angle which isn't good. Um, bring this down. Oh no, no, no. Come on. Just set this as a target again. Just try to get ourselves lined back up. Looks like everything is fairly good bring this back to center we should start getting that magnetism again no magnetism um what the heck just happened oh that's not good some of them are off center by just insane amounts yeah, um, if you guys just give me a second.
And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you dock seven docking ports together at once. Uh, that was pretty hard to do. I, I have to admit, out of all the things I've done in this game, uh, docking with multiple docking ports and making sure that they all get connected at once is not an easy thing to, to just pull off and just do without really any training or anything like that as far as like understanding the docking mechanics and all that other good stuff so it, it really does kind of just become a pain in the neck after a little bit pain in the butt whatever you want to call it but yeah so now we got docking bay and I, just to give you guys like a reference a scale i because i know with videos it's kind of hard to tell and not to mention with just custom builds like this where a lot of these parts you guys really don't have a reference on size. I will get Don Brett out of his seat and uh, bring him over here so we can kind of just take a little trip inside the docking port. Now I will say the lag is pretty bad with Kerbin in the background and everything but I'm pretty sure once we actually get a fairly good di distance away from Kerbin we should be fine. So just get them out here. There we go. So just to give you guys a scale on size of this thing, I mean, you can guys, I mean, I have not modded to change the size in Kerbal. So I, I don't even think that's possible. So, um, yeah, let go. There we go. Turn on your RCS. There we go. So we'll try to look away from Kerbin just to fix the whole lag issue. I did install a texture pack recommended by one of my subs, but it really hasn't changed much as far as the the overall lag and everything. Because I'm getting like 10 frames a second. It, it, it just it really gets kind of nasty when I look at Kerbin and stuff like that. So. We can go inside here, and I'll turn on my my light. There we go, and you can just see how big this this bay is. And I'm really hoping to get some stuff inside here. I really don't know what I'm going to put in here, but I figure I find something. The other thing I'm going to try to do too is change some of the textures on some of my parts, and kind of change some of my graphic issues because I think I'm getting a little bit of graphic lag to be honest I'm not sure if it's graphic lag or what it is exactly but I'm getting a little bit of lag when I'm going near this thing whereas if I look away or if I look at something where there's not much to be rendered or whatever it looks fine I think it has to do with the shadows to be honest because I have my shadows cranked right now so th that probably has a lot to do with it so yeah guys this thing is looking just unbelievably awesome right now and I, I really can't believe how far it's come even though this is only two parts of it which I plan on adding a heck of a lot more which I'm really hoping doesn't really screw everything up but this thing is just awesome just absolutely freaking awesome so I'm gonna start ferrying this thing out and uh, you know I'll see you guys once we start launching the next part I'm thinking I'm gonna start adding some reactors to this because we are going to need a boatload of power for our engines and uh, yeah so if you guys like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to totally new people welcome and uh, yeah I will see you next time